Hey guys, welcome back to my modern UI series. This is where we left in the previous video. Now we can type something here as the username and we can type something as the password. And if we click on the sign in button, we get this error message or we can type the correct password and click sign in. So if it's right, the application will exit, but we can add more code so that we can actually do something. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I will add the terms and conditions page. So to do that, first we need to go to the toolbox and let's search for a panel. So a panel is a container which can contain other items. So we used a panel earlier when we designed these text boxes, but panels can do more than that. So I'm going to click this panel. Let's go to properties and let's go down. And here where it says block, we need to change that to fill just like that. So let's go up again. And now you can change the background image. So if you want, you can change the background image or you can change the background color. So I'm going to change the back color because I really don't have that image that I used earlier but you can change the background to be an image which is really good other than just changing the background color so now that is done we can go to toolbox and let's search for a label so this is going to be the terms and conditions label so let's go properties and change its text to terms and conditions uh, this is just a demo but you can change these things so next we will go to the toolbox and let's search for a text box so we can use either a text box or a rich text box doesn't matter so make sure you make this multi-line and now you can resize it so i'm going to resize it like this and let's go to properties back color and i'm going to change that to black so in the border style you're going to have to change that to fixed single so that we get this nice look so again in the properties panel scroll down a bit and where it says read only you have to change that to true otherwise the user can enter his own text on this text box but what we need to do is we just want to load the terms and conditions into this text box and uh, we'll just display them as the terms and conditions i'm going to paste some demo text so let's go to text and in here i will paste my demo text and if i press ctrl enter the text will be applied but as you can see we can't see the text so we need to change the foreground color to something like white and also i'm going to decrease the font size because that looks awful now that is done we can go to the toolbox or what we can do is we will undo this and just for now i'm going to copy this button which is properly formatted and let's go back to the panel and now i will paste it here just like that instead of sign in i will type okay so now that we designed the terms and conditions page actually we did design now we can code so first thing i'm gonna do is i will go to the panels properties and let's change its name just so we can identify it better so i'm going to type panel terms now let's double click on this ok button so when the ok button is pressed what i need to do is i want to hide the panel so to do that we will type the panel's name panel terms and we will call the hide method so this will hide the panel so let's go back to the form and i'm going to undock this just for a second and i will move it aside like that so what we need to do is when the user click on the terms and conditions label we need to show the terms and conditions page so let's double click on the terms and conditions now here i'm going to type the opposite of this code so i'm just going to copy that and instead of hide we will type show so let's go back to the form and there are a few things we need to do so i will click on the terms and conditions label and go to properties and here where it says the cursor we need to change that to hand because Otherwise, the user cannot recognize whether there is a clickable element or not because when dealing with buttons, the button will change its color when the mouse is hovered, but this label won't. So we need to change that to something else. So the last thing I'm going to do is I will go to the properties of my form. I will select it from here and you can go to events and either in the load event just like this or you can go to the forms constructor where it says initialize component this is the constructor so now we can type something here so what i'm gonna do is i will type panel terms and i will hide the panel because remember the panel is on top of our application which means when the program is run the panel terms will be shown at the beginning so that is not what we want we just want to show the panels only if the user click on the terms and conditions label so this way we can just hide the panel when the application is launched so let's go back to the form now i'm going to dock this panel again just like that now let's press f5 and run the application so now if i click on the terms and conditions label we can see this terms and conditions page and even though i tried to type something in the terms and conditions i can't because it's a read only text box 
and also if I click on the OK button, the panel will disappear. So that's a very good use case of panels because you can use that to control multiple elements like all those elements, the label, the text box and the button were inside of the panel. So when we make changes to the panel, all of those things are also going to be affected. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and share this with your friends. Also hit subscribe, stick around, let's meet you in the next one.